Okay, it's late, and this video probably won't have much shelf life, but social media has been set afire tonight about signings that are going to happen tomorrow, starting with the Florida Panthers. Bobrovsky, it just looks like a matter of time, um, and they look like to also be signing 27-year-old right-winger Brent Connolly, formerly of the Washington Capitals, um, to a four-year deal. He had a career year uh, with 22 goals and 46 points. Um, Dallas have landed... Uh, Joe Pavelski, and it looks like they're going to be signing him to a three-year deal worth $7 million, uh, AAV. They also look to be signing uh, Corey Perry, who Edmonton was also after, um, to a one-year $1.5 million deal. Uh, Toronto has signed Kenny Agostino um, to a two-year deal worth seven hundred dollars uh, per on a one-way uh, contract. He's 27. He's a left wing, 6 foot, 199 pounds, uh, and in a... Uh, Playing for New Jersey and Montreal last season, last season um, he had six goals and 34 points. It's going to be like a fourth line winger for them. The Montreal Canadiens have traded Andrew Shaw to the Chicago Blackhawks. Now, in this deal, the Canadiens also sent the Blackhawks a seventh round pick from 2021. In return, uh, the Canadiens get a second round pick in 2020 and a third rounder in 2021. The Canadiens didn't retain any salary in the deal. He'll be making $3.9 million over the next three seasons. Um, Shaw, of course, was originally uh, drafted by the Blackhawks and he. So he's basically going back to where he had played, I want to say, th three four seasons before. Um, the 27-year-old recorded 19 goals and a career-high 47 points in his third um, and last season now with the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, moving, moving along here, I told you it was going to be fast. The Nashville Predators look like they've got Matt Duchesne. Now the 28-year-old center uh, looks to be signing a seven-year, uh, $8 million AAV deal. Yep. Uh, and last year, uh, between the Ottawa Senators and the Columbus Blue Jackets, um, he had 31 goals uh, and 39 assists for 70 points, and he was a minus 3. And in the playoffs, he had 10 points in 10 games. The Edmonton Oilers, um, they look to be signing goalie Mike Smith. Um, as I mentioned earlier, they were also in on Corey Perry. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. And Calgary <laughs> look to be signing Cam Talbot formerly of the Philadelphia Flyers, but also the Edmonton Oilers. So essentially, the two major rivals just swapped goaltenders. Hilarious. Uh, also more Panther news. They traded uh, uh, Reimer, James Reimer, goalie James Reimer, to the Carolina Hurricanes uh, for Scott Darling and a, a six-round pick. And it looks like Florida will just be um, buying out uh, Reimer and, or excuse me, uh, Darling, and that'll be it because they got to make room for Bobrovsky um, and Co. Uh, and he's got uh, two seasons left on his four-year deal. I believe it's just over $4 million per. Um, now, uh, the Hurricanes um, have Don Waddell's come out and confirmed that uh, Curtis McElhinney won't be back next season, um, but they might try and still keep Peter Mrazek. Um, we'll see. Reimer, who's 31, appeared in 36 games for the Panthers uh, last season, posting a 900 save percentage. He had a bad season. I mean, the Panthers were near the bottom of the save percentage of the league, uh, right next to, I want to say, the San Jose Sharks. Uh, moving on, what else do we have here? Uh, the Minnesota, I almost said North Stars again, Minnesota Wild, uh, looks like they're going to sign Matt Zuccarello, center Matt Zuccarello, to a five-year, $6 million deal. He's getting up there in age, isn't he? That whole team looks very, very old right now. He's a great player, but hmm, last year or two of that contract we shall see. Uh, of course, now uh, Dallas is going to have to give up a first-round pick to the New York Rangers. It's just the second rounder, if I'm not mistaken. And the cat just uh, made some noise. Toronto. Um, now, they look to be trading uh, Nikita Zaitsev. Uh, and sounds like Connor Brown to the uh, Ottawa Senators in exchange for Cody Ceci, who is a, who is a restricted free agent and it sounds like they may just flip him. He may not even see... <laughs> he may not even get to Toronto before he's traded again. Um, or at least or maybe uh, like further down the summer. We'll see. He's also a right shot defenseman who's a little, a little not quite as good as Zaitsev. And Zaitsev is coming off a couple of bad seasons himself. Uh, more Montreal news. It looks like they're in on Anders Lee. 
Um, Colorado was at some point, but it, the money seemed to be getting a little too rich for them, and they backed away. Although they have the most cap space in the league, I think it was just it was just insane money. I I can't confirm what we're looking at. I want to say. Uh, uh, upwards of six and a half million or more, seven, seven and a half. Uh, in any case, um, more Toronto news. It looks like uh, they're going to be signing Michael Del Zotto to a uh, depth defensive role. He's a uh, left-handed defenseman, and um, uh, he was formerly of the St. Louis Blues last season, I want to say. And it looks like they're in on Nick Shore. Look like they're going to sign him as well, and he could be um, on that fourth line with Augustino and probably che- Trevor Moore. We'll see what's going to happen to Frederick Gauthier, who played fourth line center last season. I don't know as of yet. Now, the Vancouver Canucks, um, Tyler Myers looks like he's going to be signing with them uh, tomorrow. We'll see more on that later. And I there was a couple of... Um, there was some talk about Don Scoy uh, of the San Jose Sharks going to Colorado. Uh, just... I just... Yeah, I, I think that's just a rumor for now. But in any case, um, that's it. That's all. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Sorry this video is out so, so late. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.